Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly love readings. These will go from the 26th until the 31st of October this week. I know it's a bit shorter, um, but we're going up to Halloween. That was the spookiest way I could work out how to say it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Oh, we've got a mix. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Um, yeah, and these are general love readings, so they're not going to resonate with every single person every single week. If it's not resonating with you this week, that's okay. Hit that notification button if you haven't already, and then go and check out one of the other tarot readers here on YouTube. Let's see what those two cards were. Incidentally, Ace of Pentacles and Two of Wands. Okay, that's good. Um, now, if you need a personal reading, you can find all of those details, including how to reach me down in the description box below today we're going to look at your love questions why does this deck feel i was like something is wrong here i think i've mixed up the decks hang on a second we're back yes i was like why does this deck feel so thin uh, <laughs> all right today we're going to look at your love situation your feelings your person's feelings uh, outcome advice and romance angel we're also going to finish on a three card pick a card so if you find that this isn't resonating with you you can actually just skip straight forward to the three card pick a card and try and get an answer to your situation from the universe all right let's go love messages please for cancer from the 26th until the 31st of october i promise not to make any more spooky like sounds because i'm not very good at it let's face it all right love messages please Cancer. You've got the Four of Pentacles coming through, Cancer, and the Upright. Love messages for Cancer, 26 to the 31st. Ooh, Princess of Cups. So this is our Page of Cups equivalent. Hermit could be dealing with a Virgo. Or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Fellow water sign. High Priestess, Cancer Scorpio. Ah, oh, sorry, Cancer Pisces. Wow, there's a lot of water here, isn't there? Water Earth. Good match. One more, please, for Cancer. Oh, wow. This is a great spread, Cancer. You've got the Four of Pentacles, the Princess of Cups, Hermit. High Priestess, Ten of Wands. What I'm seeing here, what this is showing me, is that you are learning from the past and making better decisions, letting go of baggage from the past. You're highly intuitive and connected to that intuition at the moment because look at this guy here. He's reflecting. He's shining his little lantern um, into the past and... When new offers are coming in, new messages are coming in, you're actually handling them a little bit different to how you would in the past. I think maybe you're keeping things to yourself a little bit more, like being a little bit more considered about who you give your heart to. But let's see if that is what we clarify through to. So four of pentacles, please. Clarify the four of pentacles. Yeah. I think you've let it, something has happened in the past that maybe prevented you from accepting offers in the past. You might not have been interested in kind of starting anything with anyone. And it's like, that's done. Yeah, look at you, Ace of Swords. You're like, okay, I'm ready to talk now. I'm coming out of my cave. That's what I feel like. I'm coming out of my cave and I've learned all this stuff and I'm ready to meet new people. <laughs> Princess of Cups. There's so much communication and like new opportunities for communication as well. All right, there is still an element of anxiety when, when offers are being made to you, Nine of Swords, clarify that Nine of Swords. But I can see that this is what the Hermit's reflecting on. It's like the lessons you've learned. So um, I think you're really trying to grow from the experience, Nine of Swords. Yeah, look at this beautiful ten of cups like i said you're trying to learn from the experience part of you is worried obviously that this may happen again because you are very focused on having a happily ever after which is great um but it's almost like this is this nine of swords is secondary where it used to really make you so anxious that you thought i'm never gonna actually let anyone in ever again you are 
in a different place now. Um, you've really, you've come out of that healing. I feel like you've emerged from a cave, basically. So I don't know whether you've been locked away or what's happening, but you've, you're ready to just, um, you've gone through a huge transformation. Tell me about the hermit, please. What did we learn while we were there? Yeah, you learnt how to be more guarded, but sensibly guarded. The thing I love about this card, the Nine of Wands, right, is he doesn't have a wall built up. He's got like a fence and he can see through the fence. So he's able to easily judge, hmm, okay, do I like the look of you? Do you look trustworthy? Okay, you can come on my side of the fence. He doesn't have a wall that blocks everyone out. He, let, he peers through his fence and he makes sensible assessments, but he's at the same time protecting himself because he's a smart warrior. Okay, that's what you've learned. You've learned how to protect yourself without closing people out. And I think you were shutting people out for a period of time and now you've found that balance. Um, it's not perfect with the Nine of Swords, that's okay. But you've, you're, you've emerged. I don't know where you're emerging from, but you've come out of somewhere. Tell me in the comments where you're coming out of because I'm interested to know. Hi, Priestess, please. And part of it is... You've been doing a lot of spiritual work, potentially a lot of meditation, really understanding um, on a spiritual energetic level who you are, what your purpose is. You're probably listening and maybe trying to understand or learn tarot. Um, but yeah, you're really trying to connect with source, which has been a huge fast forward, not just in your reflection and your learning, but also um, with that healing phase. Hi, Priestess, please. Princess of Swords, look at this, beautiful. I'm ready to come out, I'm ready to talk, I'm ready to meet people. Princess of Cups, Princess of Swords, and I know what I want. I'm not just coming out, I'm clear on what I want with my Sword of Truth. I have no confusion, I'm not rude about it, but these are my expectations and I'm not going to settle for anything less. All right, let's go with Ten of Wands, please. Yeah, you're letting you're letting go of um, the, I guess the failure of the past, and I hate using that word because I, I don't ever think that it's actually a failure because you actually gain so much from things that, you know, maybe weren't successful is a better way um, to say it or didn't go to plan. Um, but you're you're letting go of the idea that the previous situation was your happily ever after with the four of wands here in in reverse i think you're also letting go of the instability of that situation as well because again it wasn't a stable situation um but you you have gone through a huge transformation cancer i feel like i've been saying this about cancer for a little while though let's see uh thoughts and feelings please for cancer on the situation yeah, you're like, okay, I'm ready. I'm healed. And you are. You're not just saying it. You're actually ready for a new commitment. You're ready. You've, you've done the right thing, the thing that so many people don't do. You know, so many of us, hand up, being guilty, get out of a relationship, think we're healed, carry all that previous garbage that we've been holding on to from the previous relationship into our new relationship and repeat the pattern. You've actually taken time out. You've gone into your cave. You've done your reflection. You've healed. You've connected with yourself. You've uh, you've come out understanding yourself and the lessons of this situation so much better. And you're actually ready for something new. So many people are not ready. They think they're ready. You guys are ready. You are ready for something new. Thoughts and feelings, please. Cancel last one. <laughs> I am just, I can't even, there are no words. I'm so happy that this is the combination. You've got the strength and the hierophant. And this is what I was saying. You are ready because you have that inner strength. You understand, you know, your um, strengths and your weaknesses because that is what, you know, the lion and the, I don't know what she is, the lion keeper, whatever she is, is all about. It's about that, that duality, you know, that inner beast of letting our mind run away with us, some of those negative thoughts that kind of trap us in our, in our spot. Um, but you're, you've actually managed to get control of that and 
understand the things that make you you and that's what is going to make you an amazing partner love it let's see who's coming towards you because i don't see that there's anyone close in the past um so let's see who's coming towards you uh cancer who's coming towards cancer next please in this situation please so please lots i don't know why i'm begging <laughs> Please, cards. Please give us something good. Oh. Okay. So death card in reverse could be. Look, it could be someone returning from the past that where this situation is not dead. Do I think that you're going to pick them up again? No, I don't. It could also be a Scorpio who's not quite ready. Who's coming towards cancer, please? Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. This is someone coming back from the past, but you're going to empress their ass, basically, if that makes sense. You're, you're like, sorry, I have grown. I've ascended and I don't have room for you over here. So, ta-ta. Who's coming towards uh, Cancer romantically? Who's coming towards Cancer romantically? Okay, so that's a beware. So whoever you've actually healed from is coming back around. But you're going to be like, I, I'm so much. Who are you again? New phone. Who dis? Uh. Oh, the devil. Could be a Capricorn. But there's going to be, um, there's a very powerful connection here. Potentially to the, like it could go down the line of codependency. Um, but this connection, wow, I'm so hyper-focused on those chains. Um, but I'm not seeing them in a negative way, which is weird. I just feel like you may feel tied to this person somehow. I think it's going to be a Capricorn um, more than anything. More, please. Who's coming towards Cancer? Yeah, strong Capricorn. But it's... <laughs> It's almost like the the energy between you when it happens is going to be overpowering, like intoxicating, not toxic, but intoxicating. Um, so have your wits about you because it might, might make you make decisions that you wouldn't otherwise make. Two more, please. Cancel. Nine of Cups. Yeah, see... This is what I mean about be careful because they might actually get, like you might end up doing things that you wouldn't normally do with the Nine of Cups in reverse. Um, yeah, Three of Wands, like things might not go to plan. So be aware of the next person that's coming towards you. I think you've got a past person coming in and you're going to just like be pff, whatever, I don't even know you anymore. But it's almost like you're still going to be tested here because you will be meeting someone who is very intoxicating. The, like the energy of this card is, I feel tired. It might even be like some sort of false twin feeling. Um, but you just need to be very careful because with this Nine of Cups and Three of Wands in reverse, I feel like mm, they just might, you'll be so drunk on the connection like the energy of the connection that you may like I said just do things that you wouldn't normally do that will throw you off your path so be aware of this okay have you got that cancer I don't know if I need to like say it anymore here let's go with advice what advice whoa 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 whoa, whoa. yeah chill like chill Keep doing your stuff, your spiritual stuff, um, but relax here. <laughs> like take a chill pill. Don't get caught up in the energy. Advice, please, for cancer. Because it's going to be powerful. Like it's going to be whew, hot, heavy. Yeah, stay in control here. You need to maintain your control. Stay chilled. Stay in control. Queen of Wands, she can deal with a lot. She's got a lot going on. Yeah, this is it. This is where I mean. I feel like this person may actually make you feel tied to them. This is like my tied to card. Like you feel somehow trapped. 
Um, ah. Beware. Beware. That's all I have to say. Be a werewolf. All right, Romance Angel, please, for Cancer. Can we have a Romance Angel for this situation, please? Let's see what it says. Part of me thinks it's actually partly because you've not had anyone, you've never met someone like this person. Um, and it might not be necessarily bad, but you need to um, just be cautious is what I'm saying here. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, you know, maybe there is a reason that you're being directed this way. Maybe this is another part of this lesson. Maybe it's a stepping stone into this next direction. Um, but, yeah, I think don't avoid this situation because it's come up for a reason. But definitely have your wits about you. Be aware of what you, like your feelings and is this authentic or not authentic. Stay in control. Take a chill and take a step back if you need to. And don't let yourself get tied up in this, like bound by the situation is what I mean. All right, let's see what we've got in terms of your three card pick a card. So think of a question you would like asked. It doesn't need to be in relation to this reading. I'm going to select three cards. Whichever card you're most drawn to is the answer to your question. So card number one. Card number two. Card number three. All right, if you are most drawn to card number one, your answer is success. Woohoo! So whatever you are seeking in this situation, it will be successful. Um, be patient, it is coming. If you are most drawn to card number two, your answer is in the near future. So whatever you're asking about, you'll either get some information or a result or news in the very near future. So hang out for that. Stay awake, stay alert. If you are most drawn to card number three, your answer is no need to worry. So no, don't worry about the situation. Universe has it all under control. Everything will be revealed to you or will occur exactly in the time it's meant to. Um, so no need to worry. There's nothing you can do about it anyway. All right, Cancer, that was a very interesting read. We kind of deviated here. Stay aware of this one, please. Um, you might have first contact with them in the next week to... I feel like this might be actually, maybe it's Halloween. I actually feel like it's probably in the next month. I don't know why I'm picking up before end of November, weirdly. Um, I don't like truck that's just pulled up outside my house. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so be aware. Have a great week and I'll talk to you next week. Bye.